Welcome back everyone to the next part of Chocobo's Dungeon 2. We are actually on our way back to Sid's Tower so we can do something he's got planned. I don't exactly remember what it was. Been grinding for way too long. And as you can see, actually we'll get into that when we get back to the dungeon so I can actually see my items better. But I'm going to do a couple things first. I don't think I need uh, I don't think we're gonna use these that's actually um, a new set of digging claws that I made I just put some earth element and some iron claws and now we can dig with them so let's see what do we want okay okay oh I actually fixed the um, my energy problems I don't I no longer have 80 energy I now have 120 I believe those energy nuts I've been getting a lot of them so they let me fix that but now I'm actually wondering what the maximum amount of energy you can have is because that might be good to keep I don't know if I want to keep these claws on me because they get you tired really fast but they are also really powerful and I don't know how strong they are in comparison to the cross claws right now I accidentally changed my um, brand name claws into cross claws, but you guys already knew that. But I think that should be good. And I'll show you everything I got when we get back into the dungeon. Nope. So we're back at Sid's tower, and Sid's going to yell at me again for wandering off, but you know, that's what happens when you grind. So let's see. As you can see, our spell levels are looking really good right now. And I actually found out that every spell has a maximum level of 99. And we are technically not into the level 3 spells, which would be like uh, Firaga, Blizzaga, Thundara, Thundaga, and all those stuff. So we're at level 2 right now, and I believe we get to level uh, 3 at either 15 or 20. I don't exactly know, but we'll know. Uh, we've got just a handful of stuff. Actually, we can go ahead and level up Blizzard real quick, so we'll do that. Oh, right. So, a lot of spell books. Got a ton of them. Um, I actually got into the habit of keeping certain things around. So, if we enter... Did that look weird? Oh. Did that look weird? So, I just got in the habit of keeping some things around. So when we come into the dungeon, we have a lot of the items known, so a lot of it's not a, not guesswork, which is fine. And we see here on the map, we've got a store, so we're going to check that out. Only one possible item we can pick up. We're going to use the Wisdom Nut. That, okay, it picks it by random, that's fine. And we'll save the Energy Nut since that restores it by 10. We're going to put on our King Saddle and Cross... And we'll just check out the damage. 90. Okay, so Cross is definitely super strong right now. So we'll just use these. We're just going to come over here. Check out what this item is first. It's just an empty bottle. That's unfortunate. And usually, you still want to check out areas on the map that are at the top because things like your stoves, book chests, and or bookshelves and other type of things will not show up. At least this way, you have a better idea of getting everything as opposed to missing some things. Now, the one things I just cannot seem to get my hands off for the life of me are some King's Claws. I keep finding... Um, the king saddles and that's not what we want um we'll buy that okay we'll pick all of that up and we want to use our our book a couple times here got to use six times but I just want to make sure that if level 15 is the next level up because it might be 20 don't want to stick around we'll just do it as we move along okay let's see you know 
take all of these. Oh, didn't see that. Iron Claws, we'll check them out later. We'll take two of these. They must be resistant. It's got a bad roll. Of course, the maximum amount of things we can hold are 99 of everything. So we're going to have to use these up eventually. Or at least start selling some. Eye drops. We'll use them, I suppose. Where'd they go? There they are. At least this way we'll see if there's something like a level up trap. We want to step on that. And these are tonic. Don't need that. I imagine that has to be at least six, right? That's annoying. Let's find out. That should put us at 15, yep. Okay, so it's 20, so that's going to be extremely annoying. You gotta use a lot of spell books. I guess we'll just let that happen over time. We claws don't care about that. Probably gonna use this map card just to get out the inventory. And we actually got a lot of drain books too. still want the 800 gil from these guys which is funny because we don't actually need money anymore but it's like out of habit I just want to hit them before they hit me because every time they attack it reduces the amount of money that they drop by half so it was interesting figuring out the uh, enemy behaviors like the uh, flying bat guys they will only move if they're looking directly in your direction which I thought was uh, kind of interesting because a lot of enemies just have these super awkward, like, habits that you might not ever notice. Okay, we kind of filled up on things kind of quick. We don't want that. I suppose I'll need to keep any amnesia tonics, but they also, um stun enemies which is super nice and I think with the cactars because sometimes when they move they even reduce the amount of money that they drop so I only think the money that they drop gets reduced after they attack at least one time so if they don't attack and they move and they still drop the 800 but if they attack and then every time they move after that it reduces the amount that they drop so that's the thing what we got, I don't know how many floors to get by. I'm doing a lot of damage. Because ideally I don't want to miss anything if I can avoid it. Still find shops. Because we still want to be able to sell a lot of the bulk items that we get. We'll come back for that. Win saddle. Why not? Oh, 
know, and um, when I was doing a just a usual run, I found a shop that was in the middle of the map. Like I've never actually seen that before. Teleport box, a whistle, and a wind saddle. Well, I gotta use up this trap here. I want to take those with me since those items are actually worth something. So we don't need potions. Actually, we got peanuts. We can eat. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll use the energy. Alright, hopefully there's a shop on the next floor. Ooh, a verify card. I want that. I uh, still will use a potion. Like, it's amazing, like, even with the carry tags, you just never have enough space to do anything with. So I would like to find myself another one of those. Rotten nut, peanut, arrow book. Alright, let's... I don't want to use drain. But at least this way it forces me to use two spell books in most cases. Alright, so we're going to have to just come back for that. Hopefully there's a shop on this floor. Because that would just be... Let's get rid of this guy. Map card. We'll use it. There's no shop, so we're gonna have to take all that stuff with us. Because I am just not a fan of leaving money on the floor if I can help it. So we've got a couple of things. A king saddle. It's another one. Um. Okay, let's dump some things. We don't need the potions. We don't need silence. Don't need antidote. Remedy invisible. Because I'm gonna have to put that on, so I don't really want to lose anything. I'm sure this is just an identify card. Nope, it's a warp card. All right. Teleport tag. Don't need that. I guess while I'm here, I'll just. This king saddle is. It is not a plus one, so we will sell that. That's cursed. So I'm glad I didn't just throw away this. And okay, we got a couple things we can do here. Iron. Actually, I can't do anything with the iron claws because the cross claws are at a max 50, so I'll have to put them into these, which we don't necessarily mind doing, though. This is going to at least clear up some inventory space. Nope. Let's do wind and kings. We can have a max of 77. Pretty much whatever boss we go against in this map, we're going to curb stomp. I think it's going to be the uh, goblins again in the mechs. I would really love some King's Claws. Reduces some HP, gives us back 10 energy. We'll just eat it. And then we will get off this floor. Sorry about that, Sid. Doing everything kind of quick. Actually, you can use the teleport box. Back in the inventory. There's no store, so there's no point in sticking around. And all the items would have been revealed on the map when we used the map card. Oh, I forgot to put those claws back on. There we go. 
Love getting carry tags. I do wonder if there is an upper limit on them though. Like, for some reason I just remember it being 60, but I don't know if that's correct. that hard, which is fine. Awesome. A potential two carry tags. No. Light saddle. That's alright. There's nothing we want here. These are 25, so they're Probably something like a haste potion or something. Slow. There's nothing that we really want in our inventory right now. This can be... We got the confusion card. I think we know what the warped card is. This could be an identify card. Let's just see. Okay. It looks like it might be. Yep. can go away, Lost Child can go away, we have a King Saddle we can sell, oh yeah, let's get rid of this Cursed Saddle, uh, the two Whistles, I mean, Whistles can come a clutch, because I got a lot of Unicorn Stones, and if I need a heal, that might be able to help me out. Actually, I think I might hold on to one of them. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold on to one of them. We'll just pick it back up when we come back around. Two teleports like that. We only need just the one, I suppose. Let's just pick that up. Tasty. We'll drop that. We'll eat that. Okay, so we've got enough room for 17 items. I mean, this is pretty good I think right yeah so the only thing this floor can offer to me now are possible item drops since we know there's a store we don't, we don't necessarily mind selling items sell that. I mean, it's not enough, so... Oh, that's annoying. Okay, now I gotta spend my time equipping everything again. And I also learned the max durability, a item can have is 50. So it's not a hundred like I thought it was. Frozen claws, digging claws, and well, I got a reason to go back to the shop now, but we don't have that much space to sell. Hopefully this is some good claws. Repair card, we'll take it. Okay. 
lightning book. Okay, well, we know where the stairs are now. Can't believe we ain't found that yet. King's Claws, come on, I need those. So I think I got my first King Saddle out of one of these. All this card, it's not what I want. Warp Stone, I mean, they're nice to have around, I suppose. Okay, we're gonna sell a couple things here. Let's just use the Verify card. Okay, so we get rid of Frozen Claws. I suppose I'll keep the Digging Claws because we're going to need them on Floor 9. Yeah, I think that's everything actually. Teleport Tag. What's the books looking like? I mean, we'll get them, I suppose. And we're done with this floor, because we spent way too much time here. Can you handle that guy, please? Floor 8 is... Okay. Actually, let's just use a map card real quick. Oh, there's a bunch of items. I was hoping he ain't step on that, but it didn't destroy the chest, so that's fine. Golden Stone. I think that's the first one I got. I don't mind destroying those enemies because they usually drop, like, repair cards, polish cards. They can also drop rust cards and such, but I would just, I would much rather have a chance of getting those type of cards because they're going to help us stay in the uh, dungeon longer without having to worry about switching over stuff. Okay, and... Yeah, here 23 minutes floor 9 we will equip the digging claws floor. I'm pretty sure there's something here, but it's the maze structure I don't really care to deal with. And my defense is super nice right now. ID card. Oh, I forgot. We're on this part of the map already. Hopefully these guys drop some thief keys, because... There are usually some chests and stuff that I would like to open. But I don't plan on staying on this floor long. Like, right now, floor 10 on this particular dungeon is very good to grind with. And I'm only going to thunder these guys. Or not really thunder, but use magic on these guys because I want them to drop thief keys. And if I hit them with something else, or if I attempt to attack them and I miss and they steal from me, then they don't drop Thief Keys. And they just drop the item that they stole from me. And I want the Thief Keys because this chest that you see here, those are Thief Chests. And I would much rather open those up 
then have to um, pick up another item because those can be a really, really good chest. So we got two thief keys, luckily, which is nice. Jesus Christ, the traps. Um, they do drop spell books. If you're playing through this here the first time, and you have the opportunity to let those particular enemies kill another enemy, do it, because they will go into their next level, and if you defeat them at that level, they have a chance of dropping a mega spell book, which are really hard to come by. But that's only if you're grinding this area. I haven't even found the exit yet. It's gotta be down here somewhere, right? No? Okay, here it is. So this is gonna take us to the next area of the map. This whole thing here is considered floor 10. So basically what you do is you clear a floor, you go back out, and you go back in and every time you do it refreshes it so I'll just go ahead and show you an example of that I'm gonna clear this floor just so you can get an idea of how my grinding was crash stone he didn't drop a key okay, I don't want him to this looks like it might be a store this might be good Critical Claws, no it's no store. Critical Claws are nice though, because I would really love to up the hit rate of my items. Okay, so we know where the stairs are. All right, these guys don't chase you, you gotta chase them, so. And the thing I hate about them is that you'll chase them to a point to where they'll stop running and they'll instantly hit you. So if you have like no health, and they hit you without my saddle, they do like 13 to 20 damage, so that can be a thing. Alright, but you say you go to the next map and just technically lets you leave that area. You come back in and the whole area is, re is reset. So if you want to grind for stores, um, thief keys are a big one. So I would ideally like to find another uh, thief box so I can use my key on. I don't want to have to hold a, um, a thief key on me. I mean, I guess they're nice to have around. Because if you ever want to do a, another thief run, because the boxes can't be really good, you just have a bunch of thief keys on you. The um, Taton Berries, they don't actually attack you if you don't attack them. And it's the uh, truth for the all the or all the of the torn berries of the species I'm trying, I'm trying to speak here but if you don't attack any of them then none of them will attack you they'll just walk around the map but sometimes they'll place you in situations where you need to attack them so I'm trying to decide if I want to stick around here a little bit longer so I want to use that thief key but I'm thinking this might be better to hold on to it as well because they will always be around no, we're just gonna go to the next floor. I don't wanna do that though. I don't know what's beyond floor 10, so we'll just go up. At worst, we'll just have a thief key on us. Okay, it's another one. These floors. Yeah, we're just gonna dig through this. guy because he's just being annoying so we're just gonna drain him back hopefully he drops a drain book nope didn't identify a car oh, so became items what do we got over here okay there's a thief chest we'll take that it was just a spell book so that was two wasted thief keys which is annoying where are we at here seven 
I'm gonna spell this guy. He's being annoying. I'm actually going to use a repair card on the, the digging claws. Okay, where is the... We'll give this to Sid. I'm sure he needs it. Didn't mean to do that, but oh well. I do not know where the floor is. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to hope he drops a key. No key. That's fine. We don't want to be here any longer. Wow. Okay. Um... I guess while we got the inventory open, we'll just hit this guy with a book. Okay, those are just wood claws. Spell book, I've got so many of these. I would just love to randomly find a set of like carry tags on the floor. An ID card, don't need it. I try to take everything I can. Let's go ahead and fill it. Hopefully those are crash stones. They are. experience like uh, I think I want the level that's all right none of these enemies here can like hurt us so we're not too concerned about that okay there they are just trying to get a good angle here mess that up Hopefully we don't have to deal with this uh, tile set anymore. Okay. Oh, okay. My borrows now. Still no match for me. Map card. We're just gonna use that. There's a store. Okay. Wow. Um. Yeah. Let's go to the store real quick. Oh, I forgot they blow them up too. Um, hopefully this kills. I 
always want to dig right into the store. Oh my goodness. And it's a big store too, so we can sell lots. Uh, we'll take that. Peanut, don't want it. Don't need it. No. No. That could be really good, actually. Uh, I'm gonna buy it. Okay, let's drop some things first. Wow, did I max out crash zones? Yeah, I did. Okay, um... Um... I just want to see what that potion is. Because it could be an X potion. I mean, I don't know what other potions would cost 500. Okay, yeah, we want that. Jeez, they're expensive, though. Uh, we will get rid of that. I need to use anything here. Critical, don't need. I don't want to have to walk around with those. Memory tag. I might have to just put the whistle down. Because there's a lot of items on this floor I can sell, like, right now. Again, I don't need the money, but I don't want to leave money on the floor. Uh, the durability on these are probably done. So we'll use Crash Stones. Iron. Do we have a... Yeah, we do. We'll try it. Okay. We can sell these. The Odin Stone I want to keep around simply because I never had one. So that can be very useful. The Warp Stones are also really nice to have around too. That's probably all we can get rid of right now. We are going to sell that again. Okay, so we got an X potion now, which is going to be very nice for us. Wood saddle, confusion card, ID card. This floor is going to be very interesting to clear. What's the experience looking like? 263. Car, we can sell that. That's worth a couple. Oh, that's annoying. Alright, well, there's the level 67 Thunderbook. Alright, so we used the map car, so we know there's nothing of interest over there. I don't know why we went down there, but we will sell off the rest of the stuff we just picked up. We have some ID cards, so we'll use them. There's no point in leaving things in our inventory that we can't use. We still have that verify card, so we don't really want to keep too many things around that we can't use. That's a plus one. We might keep that. Yeah, we were getting rid of warp, because we have warp stones. Rust, because there's never a reason to use that. But the rust card actually will damage any machine enemies, so like for every one thing that can ruin you in this game, it will do something else to the opponent. But we just generally don't want to keep them. I guess we'll use a handful of these. Oh, is it at the boss already? 
Yeah, that's it, Jank. Alright, so this floor actually wasn't that bad. So we might be able to clear this dungeon and then uh, go on to the next one and get some more grinding on. Let's talk. Um, oh, wow. We're doing a lot of damage. Um, I, I don't even have to do anything. I mean, I want to. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to go up and we'll drop some spell books on them. good damage on the other guy, so we'll just do that. Like, the damage just isn't even... Like, wow. There's no point in using that. Okay, we got everybody here, so... I want to use flare and hope it doesn't it like the book doesn't blow up in my face <laughs> oh yes who wants the next one wow they've got a lot of health card does to these guys. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Wait, does it kill him? Or does this do damage? Either way, that fight was a joke. Wow. See, that is the point of grinding. You just do so well. So we got Sid's tower back, and we're looking for his, his flying ship. I think it's funny how his name is just Chubby Chocobo. Like, I just love how these cutscenes look like they do in Final Fantasy VII. So it's like, it's a spin-off game, but they treat it as important as well, which is super nice. Is that Bahamut? Yep, yeah, of course it is. Oh no! I was hoping it didn't crash. That was sucks. I actually had where I was uh, doing some grinding where the game, it crashed and I lost all my progress. It was super annoying. I didn't get a lot of stuff, but you know, it sucks losing like an hour of gameplay. Man, everybody is coming together here. Alright, 
thing is huge. Oops, I hope Mog is going to be very good for us. I would just like to have my healing ability back because that will come super clutch, especially when we start trying to get the Titan Claws because the Omega weapons deal a lot of damage. They also got a lot of health too. So what I'm going to have to do next is look for some Vampire um, Essence. So hopefully that's coming up next. We're just gonna go ahead and do a safety save because I did not like that little glitch that happened. Luckily we didn't lose everything. All right. I suppose while we're here, we'll check durability on stuff. 30. Cross is probably weaker than that. No, nope. we'll put it on cross though, since we usually do more attacking than we do taking hits. So let's do let's do cross. Anything we can sell. We'll place open wood. Stones can go in. We'll hold on to the whistle for now. Okay, we got a handful of things we can get rid of, I think. What else was I going to do? Right. Check to see if these guys have anything for us. Nope. And I believe we continue on. Oh, is it the forest? Okay, so we're back here again. So we're just going to do enough to continue the story. And it doesn't look like there is much story that can happen. Uh, where are we at? 48 minutes. That's probably good enough. We'll clear this floor and we'll go back. Oh, I gotta deal with these guys again. Bloodworm. Sure, there's nothing here. And then we'll teleport out and we'll end the video. An ID card, we'll take it. Actually, let's probably take these. Oh, that's annoying. But it's not gonna come out of death like it would if you were under leveled and didn't have a lot of um, stats to work with. Because those guys can end your run. And I think they are the scariest enemy in speedrunning. Because you want to move fast, and a lot of time you're running, and you don't have the time to stop to look at an enemy. And then you run into that guy, and then he puts you to sleep, and then he just wrecks you. Already been hard. So, oh yes, please. Just all in my mouth. And it doesn't matter I'm gonna use this. Oh well. When you think nothing bad can happen, it does. Mog doesn't seem to be that strong. This is health, 355. I think I would much rather have Sid. One last minute check. Doesn't appear to be anything else here. 
ton of experience to level up. Oh well. We were looking for a trap, but it was the wrong trap. Flimsy tonic. You just drop that. We know what nitro is. They sell for 50, so we don't want to keep it around. But that's just going to be that, and we are out of here. Get a save in. Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed that. If you want to see more of this, then do subscribe to my channel. So I am going to be finishing out Chocobo's Dungeon 2 as well as doing all the other post game stuff because I love me some 100 floor dungeons and as always I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch my videos and hope to see you all in the next one. <laughs>